Many of you have written me because they failed when installing or configuring the Indar Airlight with PropFrex on air. So I will show you how I have configured and installed PropFrex on air with the Indar Airlight. All installation files which you need for running PropFrex on air with the Indar Airlight you find at my GitHub repository PropFrex Remote. Download the whole folder here at the branch Airlight. Now I will show you the single steps how I have installed the Indar Airlight. First of all, you have to install all programs and drivers for DNR Airlight. The main programs are DNR Firmware Update Tool and Airlight Configuration Manager. The first quest you have to solve is to update the factory firmware of your new DNR Airlight to the latest firmware 1.11, I think with the DNR firmware update tool. Please consult your user manual how to do this. And when you've updated to the latest firmware, we can start. Now we start with Airlight Configuration Manager. There you configure your DNR Airlight, the colors, phantom powers, etc. for different modules. And I have configured my DNR Airlight. So I click read to read all configuration settings and there is no specific setting which you need for PropFrex on air. Just set your custom values on coloring or queue reset on air buttons etc. And if you have done this click on write to upload the settings to your DNR Airlight. But you also need to click to store internal. Store internal means every time the Indar Airlight is powered off, all values will be saved. If you only click on write at power off, these values will be lost. You have to configure anything, so please use here from my GitHub repository Airlight config preset with file open and then write and store internal and you haven't to configure anything. All upcoming steps we do at PropFrex on air. So if you look further at the folder with all DNR Airlight installation files, we've got Airlight Mixer. Airlight Mixer is the configuration file for PropFrex on air, configuring routing and input and output devices at PropFrex on air. So have a look at my main mixer here. You see, there is my tutorial video recording. This is my output to the listener where main out is streaming. And I've got three DJ players, player one, player two, player three, one card wall and one PFL signal to monitor all what is running at PropFrex on air at my local speakers here. You don't actually need a PFL channel, you can also line in a monitor signal at DNR Airlight and connect with active boxes. How do you configure all input and output devices and routing? Go to general settings and first of all input and output. So DNR Airlight has four USB sound cards, four inputs, four outputs. Inputs are your output devices and outputs are your input devices. It's a little bit uh, tricky, but logical. So define your four output devices, your four sound cards on DNR Airlight to run with PropFrex on air. First of all, I show you at DNR Airlight how my concept with PropFrex on air is with the DNR Airlight. So have a look. The first three modules are only for microphones or other line in inputs. The next four modules, four to seven, are the four USB sound cards or line inputs. So first you have to switch your button up here um, to USB in order to use all USB sound cards with PropFrex on air. I've configured my DNR Airlight to run with three DJ players 
at PropFrax on air and only one card wall. I think one card wall is enough because um, also at bigger radio stations you have only one touch screen where all card items are placed and I think one card wall is enough when you have three DJ players where you can also put any jingle, sound beds, etc. And at the card wall channel I've also placed PFL, Signal and Overlay Player of PropFrax on Air. The 8 module is only for voice over IP, for Skype, so you can do any live call in or telephone interview. At the right below you have the buttons which control any thing you want to. I have configured it to um, start and stop any card wall entries from 1 to 16. Now you have to set as I um, showed you these output devices. I will show you one output device as example. All other output devices are configured the same way. First mixer name. You can set what you want. Airlight uses WDM Windows drivers so there is really no issue support um, but it works really stable. And then please use the Airlight USB sound cards. You see my USB sound cards goes from 6 to 9. So USB sound card 6 is my module 4, USB sound card 7 is my module 5 and so on. And the rest is configured as default. And now place your four USB sound cards with different output device names and if you want to a PFL channel for your internal sound card. To stream any output signal to your listeners, you have to define input devices or output devices at your Airlight sound cards. So these input devices have different functions. You find this at the Airlight manual. Um, the first output sound card of DNR Airlight is the main out signal um, of the whole mixer. Microphones, all input sound cards, etc. And the other sound cards, so here the third uh, output sound card of DNR Airlight is only for voice tracking. Every time I voice track or I pre-record any session, this sound card will be used to get all the sound. If you set your input and output devices alongside my settings, we look at routing. At routing you connect output devices to the single segments of PropFrax on air. For example, DJ player A is playing at output device player 1 or player A. How you've named it, I don't know. So player A is at module 4 at my DNR airlight and so on. You haven't anything to configure up here. Please use my airlight mixer and place it at the app user data. So I will show you. Go to C, users, your username, um, app data, roaming, radio 42, PropFrax on air 4.0 and place it here, airlight.mixer. When you've placed it, you can load all here, setup airlight. Then click on load and all is loaded as I've configured it. It could be that you have to, that you have to restart PropFrax on air when you've placed airlight.mixer file. Last thing what I've configured in order to use PFL channel at my internal sound card. I send every sound from my DNR airlight player 1, 2, 3 and card wall to my PFL channel which is located at my internal sound card. Right click, um, select PFL channel and auto send to no PFL. So every time I play a PFL signal on the single columns, um, only the PFL signal will be played on the PFL channel. Otherwise it will play anything which comes from the player. And that you have to do for all channels except card wall there is no autosend setting active because card wall channel is also 
the PFL channel at my DNR Airlight. At DNR Airlight, you haven't to configure anything. When you hit Q, DNR Airlight switches automatically to the second output and routes it to your, for example, monitor active boxes which you've connected to your DNR Airlight. Next step is to configure the GPIO client at PropFrex on Air, which is connected to the DNR Airlight and which controls start and stop of player, card wall entries, etc. I've placed the default file where all is configured here, default.dnrll, and you have to place it at the same main folder, user, my username, app data, roaming, radio 42, propfrex, um, not propfrex on air, but propfrex gpio client 4.0, and there you have to place this file and also restart propfrex on air. I will show you how I've done this and how you can adjust my settings. So GPIO client um, is activated at the GPIO settings, at the general settings and runs at the system tray. There you find the tab D&R mixer and Airlight mixer. Click on this symbol to open up the mapping. So how works PropFrex on air? At the left side, you see I.O. states, which means the buttons and faders at the indoor air light. At the right side, you see the control comments of PropFrex on air. So this is a mapping from I hit one button and when I hit this button, there is executed one control comment at PropFrex on air. For example, state on air module four is on executes playlist current play A, also which means play DJ player A, but only when autoplay equals zero is off. So I thought by myself, every time autoplay runs at PropFrex on air, I don't want to hit any button which starts or stop my DJ players, which could cause nasty effects. So only when autoplay is off, the on buttons at my DNR Airlight does anything. The same I have to do with eject no fade, which ejects the player when I hit the button to disable one channel. For fader start, we have state module, so anytime anything runs at one DJ player and I use my fader and go down, it will stop DJ player A, for example. Also, I've set to mute a PFL mixer channel every time microphone is on air or for example, the state non-stop button, which you have at the right top at the air Airlight to use for autoplay. Also the Q buttons um, for PFL, player start, PFL stop, etc. And also card wall settings, so control switch 1 up to 16 to play card 13 or 12 or 10. Also I've set up here um, voice tracking functions for um, the microphones 1, 2, 3. Um, in order that you can uh, work with voice tracking at PropFrex on air. How can you adjust my settings? First of all, click record and then hit the button or the fader which you want to control. Click stop. Second, use any control comment up here. You can edit this. You can also um, delete the first part so that the DNR Airlight buttons are always working with a start and stopping player also when autoplay is running. And the last step we have got is Airlight events. So till now we've configured to send comments from the Indar Airlight to PropFrex on air, what, but we need also comments from PropFrex to the Indar Airlight to control the color rings, etc. So this settings are made at general settings, events and comments, for example, playlists, and there we've got 
on DJ Player A, execute send DNR airlight set track state um, of module 4 to 1, which means that it blinks red every time at DJ Player A runs any song. When DJ Player A stops, sleep 500 seconds and then execute turn off the module. Why sleep? Um, DNR Airlight runs with WDM drivers and it could be that these drivers have a little latency. So, um, for example, at the card wall where you play little sounds from up to uh, two or three seconds, it could be that the PropFrex comments are too fast and cuts your ends of your songs or card wall jingles. So the command sleeps for 500 milliseconds before it disables any module and, there, and so it couldn't cut any sound um, at the end or beginning. When you want to import my settings for DNR Airlight, click here, import events and navigate to my downloaded GitHub repository and import the settings. It will not override any um, control comments which, which you've set till now but it will add my control comments to yours. That's the whole configuration thing with DNR Airlight. Be sure to restart PropFrex on air when you've installed all files which um, controls DNR Airlight and have fun.